Hello, ladies. Here I am. And um, I, I, I don't even know where to start, actually. Uh, the last time I made an update, it was almost two years ago. And I apologize for that, ladies. I uh, just vanished for a good two years. And I am very sorry about that. I had so much going on and I still have a lot going on. There's so much to talk about. But I thought I'll just pop, pop up here and uh, give you a quick little update to tell you guys I'm doing okay. I am keeping my head above water and I did not have a baby and I am not pregnant and I will probably not get pregnant. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, my last update, I think I talked about uh, the removal of my fibroids. Some of you know that I had a fibroid inside of my uterus and I believed it was the reason why I couldn't get pregnant. So I had to have them removed. So, um, I did on March 6, 2016. And ladies, it was the best decision I made. Honest to God, it was the best decision I made. Because before I had the surgery, I had long, long periods, painful periods. I uh, remember one month, I had a period for the whole month where I was potting for a couple of weeks. I was bleeding heavily for a week and uh, it was just bad. I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, I, I read even just lately, a lady uh, put a comment on one of my videos and said that I could have them removed by dieting, you know, what you eat and all that. And I know all about that. I did all my research and I know exactly, you know, what people are doing out there, you know, in order to remove them uh, um, naturally without going under you know, anesthetic and all the she banged, but I did not have that time. I couldn't do it. I didn't want to do it. I just wanted them gone and I wanted them gone, you know, right away. So it was the best decision I made, really. I, um, I stopped trying to conceive a few months before I went to have that surgery and uh, so I have no idea if I would get pregnant or not because I have not been trying for two years because things went uh, sour and uh, my husband and I, we are in the process of getting a divorce and um, we, uh, um, I think we lost each other in the whole um, process of trying to conceive so I uh, gave it my all in trying to conceive and I forget about everything and we had other issues and uh, it's just it's a whole other video and um, so that's what's been going on and it's very stressful and uh, you know when you have kids involved and uh, my husband here it's somebody I met since I was uh, 19 years old 18 actually we started going out when I was 19 and uh, we got married I was 24 so uh, it's somebody I know you know more than half my life my father died i was 11 so i know him more than i know my dad so uh he is much older than me he's 27 years older than me and um he's from a different culture he's from canada and um a lot of things played into this and uh we are trying to see how we can get out of this without you know so much pain and anger and things like that but it is not easy ladies if you have never been through something like this you know it's it's hard especially when you have kids when uh, we build a life together and um it's been very, very difficult because I don't want to be uh, mean. I, I don't want to be mean, but at the same time too, you know, 
uh, how do you you know get into the financial side of it it's very very difficult so i i uh, i'm trying the very best that i can to keep my head above water but at the same time i'm looking forward to uh, be on my own i've been uh, in this relationship since i was 19 there's nothing wrong with that you know some people spend their lives together but it came to a point where we really grew apart we had absolutely nothing in common anymore and we're not happy he's not happy i'm not happy and the kids they can see it they live it every day and now my kids are not young kids anymore they have seen it and um it's it's very difficult but we're trying to be adults and even our kids they 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 see it in every little meeting we're having we all talk together trying to get them involved so they don't think that it's happening because of them so anyway ladies it's a whole other subject so i did not get pregnant ladies as you can remember i went to have a consultation uh with uh, an re and um on our way back home it was like a three hours drive i went with, with him and on our way back he said to me i don't want to do it mm, it's too much work and too much money we can spend twenty thousand dollars and then the doctor said we only had a 20 percent chance i don't want to do it so that got me so angry because I paid $170 just for that consultation. And that consultation lasts maybe five minutes, honest to goodness. So I was very upset that day. And, you know, one thing led to another, to another, to another. So we stopped trying that week. So that was that. So I am not bitter, but I got to tell you, ladies, if you are trying to conceive, you know, and it's coming from your heart, it's something you really, really want, you know, it's really hard to walk away. You know, you can stop, but your heart is still there. It's been two years and there's not a month that goes by that I don't keep on trying to find out if I'm ovulating. I'm still checking little things out. It's it's really hard, really difficult, especially now I'm 44 years old and I know that there is no way I will ever have that baby. So um, I'm trying to, I've been trying to, uh, to move forward. I still have all my baby stuff. It's all around here. I sold some of the stuff, but the baby clothes and all that, I, I, I still have them. My oldest son is 18 years old and he has a girlfriend now and he's going to university in September. So I said to myself, you know, once I move out of this place, if I buy my own house, I will save everything for them when uh, they uh, get married, hopefully. Not soon. In the next 50 years, maybe. Maybe 20 so anyway, I, I I think I will keep them because I I attached myself so much to these little things and I feel very very um it's very painful to get rid of some of the things. I got rid of my crib, I got rid of car seats and big items like that, but the little things I still keep them. So um I am doing okay. I am doing all right um there are so many things that i would like to update you on but unfortunately my younger boy he used to be a youtuber he used to make videos and i think he subscribed to my channel so there, there's a lot of things you have to keep it in you have to just hold on and wait some updates will come to you at a later time hopefully soon i just need to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be but i just um i just have a lot going on in my life right now some are good some are not so good but you have to put them both together that's what make us who we are who we will become so uh that's it it's still the same old me trying uh to uh um hold on to whatever life has to give so uh 
thank you so much ladies if you still here with me if you have been there with me since the beginning thank you so much for staying and uh, waiting for an update and uh, i thought i wouldn't have any more subscribers and uh, i checked the other day i had at least a hundred no subscribers in the past two years i'm thinking how did that happen i'm so sorry ladies i am uh, very happy to see some of you are still watching my videos commenting on my videos so i am hoping that i can make uh, a few more videos you know soon because there's so much to talk about there is so much to talk about so much to learn from what i'm going through and i hope you guys will never have to go through it but it's the things that will make me stronger so anyway guys thank you for watching my videos thank you for sticking by me and i will update you i hope in a week next week 